Sunday, I guess afternoon, it's one o'clock. Off to the Home Depot. Where my camera will focus. But it's I'm off to the Home Depot. To pick up some odds and ends for the house. Uh, I'm gonna spend the next couple of days cleaning out the shed so I can clean out the garage and put the stuff in the shed so we can get rocking and rolling on the wagon again. Enough time has passed. The little bit of warmth I keep feeling outside has got me real itchy to drive my car. So, I think once we get the garage squared away and clean, I'm going to clean up those uh, wheels for my American and put them back on. And if we have any nice weather, I'm probably going to cruise the car. Oh, uh, Ruben, I forgot to tell you. We were in the city the other day and we met your buddy Euclid. And uh, he gave me something that he wanted me to give to you because I told him you were like his number one fan. He gave me an air freshener for you. So, he even signed the back. So he told me to give that to you. Just uh, while I was thinking of it. So, well, let me turn off the camera. Let me go to the depot. Yeah, just left the depot. Uh, checking out, well, I had to buy some lights for the front of the house, but just checking out some of the smokers. I want to check out different places with smokers and stuff online. Um, I'd like to actually make a smoker for a little guy rather than buy one. So it seems like they seem very cheesy for the price you're paying for them. So I'd rather make one that's uh, a little more, uh, I don't know, sturdy. Is that the word? Robust. And make it the way we would like to have it. So I know uh, he's smoking in the Weber, but you know, you can smoke in the web. I mean, we watched, uh, what was it, Pitmasters? And there was that the team, which it, Smack Your Daddy? Or something like that? And everything they smoked was out of Weber Grills. So, and they were competitive. But um, I'd like to make him a smoker so he could start smoking the food the way he wants to do it. So I just got to do a little research on it to see what the situation is, you know, on uh, ideally how far to put the uh, heat from the items and how many racks and sizes and all the good things so I can only build it once I don't mind tweaking it but I don't want to build it multiple times so with that I think we're going to go stop and get some lunch and then get home and get working yep so heading down to the water to have my uh, what's your call my lunch I started videotaping yesterday on the way going out with the guys and I started talking about how um, I had mentioned in a video with my apprentice, if my mentor can come see me working on the fender, what would he think? Well, I had gotten a phone call the night before from my apprentice, Jesse, saying he wanted to come out and hang out with us, you know, come hang out with the guys. I'm like, okay, haven't seen him in probably a month. You know, we see each other, you know, all the time. No, I'm not going to say all the time, but, you know, we keep in contact. And, um, like I said, he came out and hung out with the guys, and, uh, he don't realize, you know, when I started with him, he was only 16, with no car license, you know, no driver's license, and, you know, now he's 23 years old, so he's not a child no more, so, well, maybe in a, a parent's eyes he's still a child, but in reality, when I was 23 years old, I was long out of the house. On my own, had already gone to school, come home, and after going to school, I couldn't live in my parents' house anymore. Yeah, you need the freedom. So I moved out. <coughs> only to only to build an apartment in their basement and go back there for a couple of years until I bought my house. <laughs> but either or. Uh, oh, it's a cloudy day. 45 degrees today. Tomorrow is supposed to be about the same temperature, but less cloudy. So, it'll make it a little more enjoyable working outside. Probably get some propane for that portable heater thing and just leave it standing next to me as I'm emptying the shed. Keep me a little warm. You know, normally I wouldn't care, but just getting over being sick, I don't really want to get sick again. So, sickness is pretty much gone. Uh, but 
I dried out and I wound up with a tickle in my throat. So I consider that being good and healthy. So. Like I said, within the next week or so, uh, we will have some good action going on in the garage, hopefully. Well, obviously, as you guys know, we're in the flood area. And I guess this guy had Allstate. <laughs> so here yeah, you can see the half done repairs here. You know, being it's winter. But I know when I come here on a Monday, you see, uh, you know, work trucks everywhere in that house. That house, they're elevating. It looks like they've got about six feet off the ground now. So. You know, you really find out about your insurance company when stuff happens. I know, uh, going back a while ago, my buddy's house burned down. And when his house burned down, and I realized some of the hell he was going through, I sat down with my, uh, homeowner's insurance and redid it totally I couldn't believe what I wasn't covered for and what I had the house actually insured for my brother did the same thing at the time so a lot of water is clear that's because it's early in the season and the uh, muck isn't growing in it yet but it's like crystal clear I can see down to the bottom of the ramp and it's obviously high tide super high tide here so it usually doesn't get any higher than that so, last time we were here, it was low tide. So, I think one of these days coming up, uh, when I get a decent day, it's at least 50 degrees, we'll take a ride down to the beach. Uh, see what's left of it down there still. I know a lot of, there's a lot of damage. I don't know how far it can actually get with the roads being closed. So, well, I'm going to eat some lunch. We'll gab later. <laughs> 